former Orlando Pirate player and current superstar uh, Cape Ten. He goes by the name Tulane Slytroy. Nae has added his voice about this thing near Sundowns of Sundowns signing players left, right and center and Sundowns now um, crippling the opponent and blah 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 and he's like F F F can it is the only solution that can stop this thing here in Zwemamelo Sundowns but he clearly stated that what Sundowns are doing is actually wrong and it needs to be stopped. He's not the first person to say that. In fact, this this discussion was started by a uh, uh, former Kaza Chiefs player, uh, Brian Malloy, and he was like, no. But when we spoke about it, and a lot of people were like, yeah, because he's a former Kaza Chiefs player, but he also played for Sundowns. Nevertheless, we'll get into this one. Wait a minute. Before we jump into the video, one favor, please. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Because to subscribe it is free, to like the video it is free, to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge. So if all these things are free, then why don't you do it? So the discussion about a certain team killing South African football is continuously um, renewed. And current and former players agree over the fact that Sandals, they are deliberately killing the competition by crippling other teams, more especially a team that is either number one, number two, number three. They are making it, they, they will try by all means to make it to a point that they crippled that team. And that is unfair unless there is an introduction of the, e, the FFF financial fair play, that is triple F. We spoke about it in the past when it was first addressed by U Brian Malloy. A lot of people said we are against Mamero Sundowns, but we're like, no. If they, are, they say there should be an introduction of FFFF, what would be the problem if you have a quality? What should, what, what should worry you? A lot of people then said, no, it is because, yeah, now Casa Chips is affected. That's why they are speaking loud. I'm glad this time it's not a, a former Casa Chips player, but it is actually a former Orlando Pirate player. That says this thing is Sundowns. It's a robbery, it's a daylight robbery, and it needs to stop. And it needs to stop here. Lest you accuse me of manufacturing facts, let's dive into the statement from the man himself. He says, "If one looks back at four or five seasons ago, the PSL was interesting. Everyone had an opportunity to win the league, and it was very competitive." Uh, okay. That, that, that's the first point of departure. It was interesting and it was competitive. Everybody had a chance to win the league. Let me share, let me share with you something uh, that was said by coach Rulani Mukwe when they signed Terence Mashako. He said, Terence Mashako, it's not like they needed him, but he was a quality player that was available in the market. So they did not want a quality player to go to their opponent. So they will rather buy as many quality players as possible, even when they don't need them. This confession comes directly from the mouth of Rulani Mugwena. So if we say Sundowns, they are in charge of, or they are responsible of killing talent, it's like we hate them. But they acknowledge, they've got an audacity of acknowledging that publicly. You know what I'm saying? It's not like we are... Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's not like Seba Sugel. No, they declared it publicly that they signed players because they don't want those players to go to the opponent. So what it does, it then creates less competitiveness in the league. And then the league is no longer interesting. It's now predictable that it is Sundowns who Sundowns will it is look will walk in the park. So it continued to say, let's just say exactly Nami I'm not it's obvious, also down to how other teams fight fight to win games. But for teams to be able to, to weaken other teams, I think it's very unfair. Let me repeat this one. It's obvious, also down to how other teams fight fight to win games. But for teams to be able to weaken other teams, I think it's very unfair. There you have it, from the horse's mouth. 
who is why did it why did turn out sign oh look oh, um this player that was wearing jersey number 12 at Carter Chiefs, which is um Maluleg. They absolutely did not need Maluleg. It was just a pure chess game. And that is what Tulan Lecture is trying to address to say for you to go as far as killing other teams just because you want to win the league is not fair. Then they continue to say it's on a look, it's on the on, on the lock. You can see the difference between first and second, as opposed to second and the rest of the chasing pack. But regardless, I think we are I think we are in it for an interesting we are in it for an interesting this season, right? But Utiga, as difficult as that might be, hey, look, Utiga, I'm not surprised by where, by where we are on the log. We started a season. Okay, let's leave that one. Um, it's not necessarily what we're gonna be focusing on, guys. On a previous episode, I told you that Chelsea used to do the same thing. England decided that mm -mm, financial fair play. Is okay. Look at the look at the the league in England today. It's balanced, balanced. You know, in as much as Manchester City has been dominating, but we've seen also Liverpool winning other cups while Man City were winning other cups as well. So you can see that it's balanced. We also saw Chelsea, the one that was robbing other people, going as far as winning the Champions League before it was won by Real Madrid. I think it was last year. Before last year, it was won by Chelsea. So it speaks about the balancedness of the teams in the league. We have also seen the Liverpool going as far as playing in the Champions League last last season with Real Madrid. Real Madrid being the local, becoming victorious in that game. It speaks about the balancedness. It's not like it's predictable that sure, 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 Manchester City they're going to do things now, but they know that they've got a tough competition in Liverpool. They know that they are yet to play with Chelsea. They know, you know what I'm saying? That So it then balances the league and it makes the league interesting. It is not a co-excellent that um, English Premier League is the first or it's the number one most followed league in the world because it's not predictable and it's interesting. And that's what in the PSL we want. We are not saying people shouldn't buy expensive players. We are not saying people shouldn't buy quality players. But we are saying we are seeing the mentality of capitalists. Capitalists have got the tendency of wanting everything for themselves, even at the expense of other people's lives. We have seen Sandals uh, buying players in two years, the down the line, three years, down the line, letting them go because they are mediocre. But we know the whole country agrees that this player is a quality. But because you get to Sundowns and you find um, <laughs> you find that you are player number five, you, you you know what I'm saying. Let's take for instance good position Gatteras Machako. How many people are there now? They want to buy Ulo uh, Kanye Samai. What? What? Like there's absolutely no reason whatsoever for them to buy Kanye Samai. That's why his father has to stand up and say, unless you are promising him 90% of game time he's not coming to Sundowns I will not advise him to go to Sundowns let's say they decide that they're going to offer him a 90% um, contract with 90% playing games that means between uh, Nazir Abu Bakr between Peter Shalulile um, Marcelo I forgot the other one uh, it's Marcelo I don't know how to pronounce it this is in the, but it's a South American uh, so I've named four strikers I'm not sure where Kutu Mela play and then now you will have to look you will have this player as well Kanye Samayo um, I, I'm, I, you know I may not even contact their striking force incomplete here that means one of these top top players um, for me Kutu Mela is not that bad that that, that, that good as opposed to the likes of Peter Shalulu and Nazil Abu Bakr, the it's Marcel or what, what you know, that means one of these players now will be benched. If 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 if, if Kanye Samayo had to sign that type of a contract to get the point, so it means that these players ne, are a good quality, you cannot bench them. But if you sign Kanye Samayo with that type of a contract, you have to kill someone's talent in order to accommodate Kanye Samayo to get the point where we where, what, what we're saying when we say. 
Sandals is guilty of killing people's talent and that needs to be fixed in the PSL. It need not to go unchecked. Where I, now I'm in favor of financial fair play. But again, I know as soon as you talk about sandals, it's like you hate sandals. Guys, I don't hate sandals at all. In fact, I admire the quality they have, but I just don't like the capitalist mentality that they are imposing in the PSL. That's the only thing that I wanted eradicated within the sandals. Other than that, I don't have a problem with them. I'll see you in the next video. Tell me what you think. Till then, please take care.